Hello everybody. Just a quick mini teardown today of the control panel from the Rico photocopier. It came out all as one unit. You can see we've got um, several boards on the back. This board on the far left has um, buttons for the program, the help, a rotary encoder for the screen contrast. Then we've got the screen LCD screen module. Then we've got the uh, control board and a board underneath that has the button matrix on it. So let's start tearing down this board or this panel. Okay, so we've got the first board here has a um, little rotary encoder and just power connection. A couple of status LEDs, two buttons, and that's about it for this board. And these are going... I'll find out where those are going when I take the other board off. Okay, so we've got the control board on top with just a little flat flex going to the um, actually I guess both of these flat flexes are going to the display just looking at the number of traces I'm going to assume this is power and this is data so we've got some uh, quite a few chips on here I'll do some zooms in some uh, zoomed in photos but surprisingly they're all these three at least are all nicely uh, socketed so so we can change those out and they've got you know, part numbers it looks it feels like there's a depression under here so those might be some uh, flashable um, EEPROMs or something like that Papa? and it's connected to this board mm -hmm. via header actually if you can see goes through the board here and into a header underneath. I'm talking to the camera. So here's the board with all the keys. What is the, the key matrix. They're actually tack switches, which is interesting. And we've got these are two boards. Oh, that's two boards. Is that a small one? Yeah, it's a small one. Oh, and that big. And that small one. What is got, that? Pet? I'm assuming data what? and power like going that, from. Papa? I think the power the power comes into this board, what? and then we've what? got the rotary what encoder. We've got the rotary encoder and two tack switches for um, screen contrast, the help button, and the program button. So, data lines for these, and then power in goes over these connectors to this board, and we've got the, um, the beep warning button. This is actually the pin header. I've never seen one that you have holes through the board and then the pin header is that um, connector is actually on the other side. And then some ground, various small caps, LEDs, stuff like that. So that's the empty framework. We got the buttons that actually Whoa. press the tack switches. Are, are there two buttons? Yeah, you want to play with the buttons? Uh huh. Various other button caps. 
insulating the plastic. So here we've got this LCD module and so yeah I was wrong this flat flex is actually oh no I do believe I was right this flat flex is power for um, looks like the, the screen lighting <coughs> and this flat flex goes onto the driver board and into these chips to run the display and this is um, this is power in from this connector right here it gets connector, Papa. to power the module it powers? so I hope you enjoyed oh, that I'm not going to take this apart because it's bent in and uh, soldered it a couple places to make this one module so I'll just see if I can Papa? find some more information on it and um, mm. play around with it later. Yeah, Alright, thanks for watching. Is and it? this is my helper today. Say hi. Hi. Did you help me take it apart? Uh-huh. Good job. Okay, just a little addendum to the end of this video. Um, here we've got the back of the control board and then here's the front and um, that large quad flat pack at the top is a um, Rico uh, branded um, I'm gonna assume custom FPGA or something like that it's RF 5 C 202 to handle all the all the control on the board and then the three socketed chips um, starting from the top left are all um, EEPROMs. The first one is an AM27C2048. It's a 2 megabit uh, CMOS EEPROM. And then the one right below that is an M27C4002 uh, 4 megabit um, UV EEPROM. And then on the right side is an M 27C1001 1 megabit um, UV EEPROM and then the smaller quad flat pack um, above that single EEPROM is an NEC D702 16GF-10 which is a um, CPU microprocessor and I'll um, show you the data sheet right here real quick and just a little note on the microprocessor, it has a whopping one megabyte of uh, physical memory and runs at a blistering 10 megahertz. State of the art. And finally, we just have the other boards. This is the um, board with the button matrix on it. And the back of the board, just interesting, it has a sticker with the date code of October 13th, 1999. And then we've got the LCD display module and all the um, driver circuitry and stuff on the back. So that's it for this little mini teardown and uh, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.